Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to uninstall Windows 10 and roll back to Windows 7. If you recently upgraded to Windows 10 from Windows 7 but you're experiencing issues and you need to reinstall the operating system or you don't like the new OS or whatever the reason it might be, you can roll back to the previous version using the recovery feature on Windows 10. But here's the warning, although this is a non-destructive process, it is recommended to create a full backup before proceeding in case something goes wrong and you need to recover your files. Also, it is important to note that while you can uninstall Windows 10 and go back to Windows 7, Microsoft no longer supports the older version of the OS, which means that continuing to use an unsupported version of Windows will eventually make your device vulnerable to attacks and malware. With all that in mind, let's dive into the step to uninstall Windows 10 after upgrading to Windows 7. First, we need to open the settings app and then go to update and security then open the recovery page in here you will see the go back to windows 7 option but here's a caveat the option is only available for the first 10 days after the upgrade then windows 10 will remove the option because it will automatically delete the files from the previous installation created during the upgrade process to free up space on your device if you don't see the option you can roll back. If this is the case, it is still possible to go back to Windows 7, but you will need to proceed with a clean installation of the OS. So to uninstall Windows 10, click the Get Started button. And here, select the reason why you want to roll back to Windows 7, and then click Next. Click the Not Thanks button. Make sure to understand that uninstalling Windows 10 after the upgrade, you might need to reinstall some applications and you will lose some of the changes after you upgrade it to Windows 10. Then click Next. If you use a password to sign in on Windows 7, make sure that you know it, otherwise you will not be able to sign back in into the system. Then click Next. Once you're ready to uninstall Windows 10, click the Go Back to Windows 7 button. And that is all there is to it. Now we're back into Windows 7 and the entire process takes about 15 to 20 minutes. It doesn't take long, so it's something pretty easy to do. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.